Hello everybody, thank you for joining me today for another Twilight Zone video in my Twilight Zone review series where I rank every episode of the original Twilight Zone from my least favorite to my favorite. Today I'm going to be talking about number 87, Young Man's Fancy, written by Richard Matheson and directed by John Brown. This is a season 3 episode and as always there will be episode spoilers. So I always thought Young Man's Fancy was just kind of an average okay Twilight Zone episode, but I have to say on this rewatch I really appreciated it more and I now think this is an above average episode. It's not an all time classic. There's there's something that holds it back for me, which I'll get into, but I do think this episode is pretty good. So this one's about a newlywed named Alex Walker, and he and his bride Virginia are visiting the old house where he and his mother used to live, and things seem like they are okay until it seems like maybe his now deceased mother doesn't want him to leave the house after all. So kind of a creepy premise to this episode that's interesting. Alex Nickel is okay as Alex. He does an adequate job, but I don't think his performance is great. But Phyllis Daxter, as always, uh, in everything I watch her in, is her usual great self. And she gives a very complex and interesting performance. And I did feel kind of bad for her by the end of the episode. So she did a great job as usual. So one thing I really like about Young Man's Fancy is this is kind of a unique episode in that it's got kind of a 50s or 60s suburban neighborhood setting, but kind of where you think maybe something creepy is kind of hiding underneath the surface, and I found that to be very interesting for the Twilight Zone. So this episode starts with a newlywed couple. They're already at the home of his late mother, and the plan is to sell the house because, of course, Alex won't be living there anymore. He'll be living somewhere else with his new bride, Virginia. And after meeting with the realtor, Alex seems strangely conflicted about this whole thing. He seems to be having second thoughts. So Virginia gets very nervous about this and eventually tells Alex to pack up as she's trying to get his mind on something else. And while this is going on, Virginia actually talks to a picture of Alex's mother telling the woman that Alex is hers now, uh, which is a pretty great scene, honestly. However, Virginia's plan kind of backfires because as Alex is packing, he seems to be getting more and more reminded of things from his time living in the house with his mother, and he seems to have even stronger feelings now to stay there. Then weird things start happening in the house until eventually Alex's mother even appears, which is the strangest thing of all, seeing as that she's deceased. So then things get even stranger as eventually Alex turns into a child again. Virginia accuses the mother of doing this, which was my assumption all along as well, but we find out that it's actually Alex that was doing all this the whole time and that he really wants to see to stay in the house with his uh, mother. So this is a great twist that really fooled me. I didn't really see it coming. So at this point, Alex basically tells Virginia to go away, which is pretty harsh considering that they just got married. And she runs out of the house very upset, and I don't really blame her. And I got to say, I really did feel bad for Virginia at the end of the episode, mostly because Phyllis Thaxter gives a great performance. If I were Alex, I think I would have gone with Virginia, but Everyone has their own point of view, so I guess it's fine that he uh, stayed with his mother. Now, one thing I thought could have been better in this episode, although I did like the twist of the episode, I just feel the episode on a whole isn't quite as creepy as it could have been. Even the ending twist, while very clever, I felt like could have been executed better. It just doesn't quite have the dramatic impact I would like it to have, and that's what I think holds us back from being a classic Twilight Zone episode. There's just a little something missing, in my opinion. But I still think this is a clever episode, and I think it's a little underrated and underappreciated. I really don't see too many Twilight Zone fans talk about this episode. So overall, I do think Young Man's Fancy, despite not being maybe as creepy as it could have been, is a solid Twilight Zone episode. And Phyllis Daxter's performance elevates it a few spots on the list as well, in my opinion. And that's why it comes in at number 87. As always, feel free to leave me a comment on what you thought of Young Man's Fancy, if you liked it or not. Thank you very much for your support, and thanks for watching.